Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can increase the capacity of your rides and also duplicate them so that they are in sync, just like this pair of swinging inverter ships. It's actually just one ship and I will show you how to do that. All right, so to start, all we have to do is build a flat ride. So if you start with a swinging inverter ship, I have made the entrance and exit invisible right here but it's going to be pretty easy all you have to do is use the tile inspector but we're going to be if you want to make a mirror image of this ride you are going to basically connect this here it's actually going to move to that tile this will just be an easier way for you to understand where we're going to be copying and pasting the ride but it's going to be pretty simple all right so basically, with the Tile Inspector, we are going to select this tile here, take the track, copy it. If I rotate, we will then paste it here. And now you need to rotate it. And then we will take the next one. So that's actually the green. So I'm going to copy that track piece. And then paste it here, rotate it around. And then we'll do that for the yellow tile. Copy, paste. That's all there is to it. And so it's basically creating a mirror image of the ride. And when you open the ride, it should function as one. So basically it's actually one ride, but it's mirror image with the tile inspector. Uh, and so it looks like it's a dueling salt and pepper shaker or whatever you want to call this ride. Again, it only has one entrance and exit, so it functions as one ride, uh, but it's only going to have the capacity of a 12 passenger ship. So what you can do if you have the uh, edit ride vehicles plugin. So we have our swinging inverter ship. So this plugin, I'm going to link it in the YouTube video description. If you don't have it already, it's an awesome plugin, um, but you can increase the seats uh, up to I think you can go down, it'll go backwards and it will go to 32. So that is the max. So you're basically increasing the capacity of your ride without actually changing how it functions. Uh, so you can set however many seats you want for the capacity of this ride. Um, so it's kind of a great tool so you can increase the capacity to a lot of different rides. So let's say we wanted to do this for top spin. We do the same thing. Let's say we want to have a dueling top spin. Uh, you can definitely do that. However, it's going to be a little bit trickier with how the tiles are going to break down. Basically, this one is going to be here. Ah, see, something's wrong now. It's messed up. I did something wrong. I just have some monstrosity I created. <laughs> But you can't play around with this. Let's see if I can get it to work properly. All right, let's see if I can make this easier. Here we have our top spin. All right, so now we have our dueling top spin. And if we wanted to adjust the capacity, we can use that with the Edit Ride Vehicle plugin. But this trick of duplicating these rides or mirror imaging them works with any flat ride that does not have a track to it. So you could use the Twist, the Magic Carpet, the Swinging Inverter Ship, Motion Simulator, if you really wanted, the 3D Cinema, uh, Top Spin, Swinging Ship, uh, and the Enterprise. But nothing with tracks like the Roto Drop. Uh, this also will work with Haunted House, carousels, um, the ferris wheel, and space rings, but none of these that have tracks. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, please like, share, subscribe, because i got more coming. Enjoy!